More than 700 years ago, on Friday the 10th of June, 1194, a disastrous fire completely destroyed the original cathedral of Chartres in France. As the news spread over the flat plains of the Beauce, the devout people of that age were grief-stricken as with a national calamity. What then took place was as remarkable as it was sublime. Old and young, rich and poor alike, set aside their work and journeyed to Chartres, not only from the region around, but far and wide from all the surrounding countryside. A mighty spontaneous crusade, such as the world has never known. Pilgrims eager to play their part in the resurrection of Chartres. Over the smouldering ashes of the old, to erect the new. Their divine purpose suppressed all rank and abolished all caste, resulting in the most superhuman achievement in architecture that exists on earth today and leaving us breathless in wonder at its greatness. This is the principal front facing west and here we pay our first homage to those master craftsmen. Dating back to the 11th century, the masterly conception and the detailed workmanship have endured the passing of 700 years. In this central bay of the royal portal, the lower row of figures represents the 12 apostles. In the center is Christ in the act of blessing, surrounded by symbols of the four evangelists. The right bay is particularly interesting. Here is depicted the nativity. Mary is lying down, Joseph at her bedside, an angel telling the shepherds the news of the birth. The panel above depicts the presentation at the temple. At the top is a statue of the virgin and child between two angels. Below at the side of the bays are depicted the ancestors of Christ according to the Gospel of St. Matthew. Note the exquisite and minute detail around and above the principal figures. All a wonder of achievement, leaving the brain bewildered in its endeavor to visualize the patience and skill that resulted in that inspired artistry. As we leave the principal front and pass around towards the south portal, we pause for a moment to contemplate the angel sundial at the foot of the old tower. The storms of passing centuries have left their trace, but still its ancient signs bask in the sunlight to reveal the hour. And here is the south portal, the impressive grandeur of which holds us in awe. The sound of music floats in as from another world, and at its bidding we relapse into silence. Here in the central bay is depicted the last judgment. On the left side of the central bay are statues of the apostles and above them are depicted scenes in paradise. Here again is a wealth of exquisite and minute detail which still defies the hand of time. Let us take a group at random and look closely. One of the blessed being led to paradise. On the right side of the central bay are further statues of the apostles and above them on this side are depicted scenes in hell. Again we will look more closely one of the damned being dragged to hell. Of what strange contrast is the evil and grotesque conception in this fantasy of creative imagination? 
this symphony in stone. Passing from the central bay, we take a glimpse within the left bay. At the side are statues of the saints, more wonders of artistic achievement. Who were the men who carved these works? No one knows. Humbly, anonymously, they performed their tasks. But what souls they had, these modest artisans. Surely the hand of a forgotten Michelangelo must have fashioned the noble features of St. Theodore, and in his craftsmanship lavished such wealth of detail. St. Martin, St. Jerome, St. Gregory, St. Avid. Here indeed is creation in its truest form. The artists unknown, only their work remaining as a wonder and an inspiration to the beholder, leaving him speechless in silent admiration. Quiet and footsteps, we pass from this fantasy of human endeavor, this galaxy of artistic achievement, to discover the still further treasures of the North Portal. This belongs to a later period, the 13th century, a hundred years after the period of the first West Portal. We have passed towards the right bay. Below is depicted the judgment of Solomon, and above the trials of Job with his false friends and his steadfast belief in face of all his adversity and misfortunes. Before we leave the wonders of this last portal, at least let us glimpse into the central bay. Here we find ourselves in dim seclusion among the ancient prophets. The art of sculpture has no more noble examples to reveal to us than these. Never have we been made so clearly aware of the greatness of heroic endeavor and human genius. The light that illuminates here is a supernatural one. Amongst the mighty quiet of the buttresses, we read the sum of all human philosophies. In the Cathedral of Chartres, we witness the last vestige of a sublime century. <laughs> 